girlfriend on a wedding right now? Oh, oh this is a movie. This is a movie. <laughs> <laughs> So girls, I'm sorry I didn't make a video last week. I was just way too crazy and hectic and yeah. So quick recap of my life is I had my credit card stolen. I'm trying to find a place to live and then they rented it out to someone else and I was in a wedding, obviously. It was a very lovely wedding and I'm very glad it's over. So now husband and I are just trying to find a place to live and get out of the cabin as soon as possible. I would really, really like to find a place and start moving, like at least, you know, sign a lease before we leave for Rockstock. So that's a lot to do in the next few days. <laughs> I'm just slowly gathering boxes and packing up everything in the hopes that we will then move. But so far, we have nowhere to move to and it's all just a pipe dream. Today has been crazy. I didn't have to work today, so I've just been doing laundry and cleaning and filling out job applications because where we plan on moving, I will actually be kind of really far away from where I'm currently working, so I'm trying to find a job closer to there. Oh, I know, I know somewhere in all of this, I'm excited for Rockstock. I just, it's so hard for me to like bring it out because there's just so much other stuff that's going on. It's so serious, you know, jobs and and moving and apartments and houses and stuff. So yeah, like I said, it's in there. And I know once we all are together, it's gonna come out like, whoa. But right now I'm just very calm. Well, not calm, calm isn't a good word, uh, sedate. Sure, we'll go with that. Yeah, I don't really have too much to give you, Katie, because I didn't even realize that Halloween was coming. I mean, like, I know that Halloween is October 31st and I know that October is ending, but like, I just didn't even put it together until a couple days ago that it was gonna be Halloween soon. I don't get to do much for Halloween. Usually we'll decorate and carve pumpkins and stuff and put them at the end of the driveway, but this year I don't think we're going to because we just have no time to go find pumpkins and I hate buying them from the grocery store and Walmart. I like to go to a farm and pick out my pumpkin. So probably won't carve pumpkins this year. And I'm packing everything up, so I'm not putting up any decorations. We don't get trick-or-treaters because we live in the middle of the woods. I don't trick-or-treat because I'm 28. <laughs> but for anyone that feels bad, I did trick-or-treat until I was about 20. So yeah, I wore a Halloween shirt for you though, Katie. I don't know if you can see it. It has pumpkins on it. Yeah, as for movies, I'm not I'm not a scary movie person. I hate scary movies. I don't want to watch them. <laughs> Is everyone just watching Tubby in the background? Like dig around in this blanket and try to get comfortable? <laughs> yeah, okay. Um so like me. Psychological thrillers are much worse for me. Axes and gore and blood, like I don't like it, but I know it's fake. But the psychological thrillers, I mean, The Exorcist and The Ring and, whoa, can't do that kind of stuff. Mm -mm. No. Yeah, we used to watch this movie as a kid. My mom taped a bunch of stuff off TV that we always liked to watch. And there was a lot of old Disney cartoons on there. I mean, they're all Halloween themed. I remember there's one with like old school Donald Duck and Huey, Dewey and Louie and they're like scaring him. It was good times. But she taped this one movie that we used to always want to watch, and it's called Mr. Boogity. I don't know if anyone out there has ever seen Mr. Boogity. I actually do have it on uh, VHS tape, and I think I found clips of it on YouTube. So if you Google or search on YouTube Mr. Boogity, um, it's on there. And actually watching it, I, I think like last Halloween I actually looked it up on YouTube and started watching little bits of it, and it was actually scaring me because I could remember how much it scared me as a kid, and yeah. But it was a good movie. It still is. 
I highly recommend it. Mr. Boogity. All right. I have nothing else to tell you guys. This is not an overly exciting video, except for the neck motion. Um, but I just wanted to make a video and tell you guys what I've been doing and why I'm crazy and stressed and not talking to anyone on Twitter or on Facebook or anywhere. I'm just not even on the internet at all because I'm in my house freaking out about where I'm going to live. And who stole my credit card because that's still just driving me crazy. I mean, they refunded all our money back. It's all taken care of and it's not a big deal. But somewhere out there, there are people that got free stuff because of me. And that's just... I mean, when I say it like that, it shouldn't make me mad, but it just, it makes me mad. I want to know who they are, and I want to yell at them, possibly kick them really, really hard in the shin, because that sucks. So, yes, that is the end of my bad news. Hopefully next time I make a video, I'll have nothing but good news to tell you, that I am excited for Rockstock, and we found somewhere to live and are moving, and, uh, yeah, that is all. That's, I'm going to end this. So, I hope you guys are having a good week, and I'm so sorry, Laura, that you were the only one that made a video last week. I feel so bad. Oh, but it was great to see your face, and it did cheer me up, so thank you, and I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later.